and my heart, amen, praise God, is overwhelmed uh, with what's taking place even uh, when I say in the world, not so much in the world, but the spiritual realm, amen, praise God. It's a need for us to understand the word of God. You know, I remember years ago uh, when I had a dream, I had a dream and, and I, I woke up and I wrote this five uh, 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 page letter, amen, and it was, the Lord was speaking to me. And as I wrote this letter, it was concerning um, the people of God, why they're not getting the word, what's going on, why they're, why, why they're not receiving the word, what, what is it that's going on? And, and what came to me and when I began to write, and all I, the, the, the few words, it was a five-page letter, but the main word that stuck out the most was applying. And the Lord let me know then that people weren't applying the word to their life. They weren't applying the word of God to their life. Now, tonight, uh, we're still talking about Genesis uh, 6 chapter, but I just want to deviate just a little, amen, because I want you to get this. I really, I really do, amen, praise God. And, you know, last time uh, we, we went in a place uh, in 2020, and we all were caught off guard, you know, pastors, everybody, the whole world, it was caught off guard, and we know it was, it was the enemy. It was the enemy uh, practice run, amen, praise God, whatever it was, amen. But God yet kept us, amen. And we were all quoting the scripture, if my people that are called by my name will humble themselves and seek his face and turn from their our wicked ways, he said, then, amen, praise God. He was going to open up, amen, the windows of heaven for us, amen. He was going to bless us. He was going to heal our lands, amen, praise God. But what we did for a while, you know, we, we got afraid of it. We got afraid of it. Then all of a sudden, we got relaxed. And then we, we started doing, you know, a little church. And then we went back to the same thing. Some of us went back to doing the same thing that we were doing. Why? Why, why am I talking about this tonight? Because it's so important, amen. It's coming again, y'all. You know, it's not so much coming again, but it's been here before. But what I'm saying, the enemy is turning some things up. There was only a practice, you know, for, 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 for what the enemy has planned. You know, and this is what's going to take place. You know, and you can you can believe me. You don't have to believe me, but you, do your fact checking. Get in the word of God. And, and God is going to reveal it to you. Amen. And praise God. I don't care who you are. Uh, how, how you read the word, amen, praise God. If you search the scriptures, if you really want to know the truth, it's in the word of God, amen. A lot of us want to stay from the book of Revelations, amen, praise God. We're going to dive into that, the Revelations too, amen, so you understand exactly where we're at in the book of Revelations, amen. And so even tonight, you know, when I shared about that dream that I had and um, how it was like um, they're not applying the word of God to their life. They're not applying the word of God to their life. And, and what's taking place now, uh, remember uh, the woman of God, Pastor Di, always say, and she's been saying this, that um, the, the enemy, the devil can't do nothing except get what you allow. Amen. And we have allowed so much. The church, when I say we, we as a church, as a body of, of believers, we have allowed things to happen because why? When they voted on some certain laws, we were, we where were we at to be found? Amen. Praise God. We didn't speak up. Amen. We didn't pray. We didn't come together and pray and bombard heaven. We'll come together for all kinds of stuff. Amen. Praise God. And people are still dying. Amen. Praise God. But we are not praying like we should. Now listen, I'm 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 I'm, I'm sharing. Amen. Praise God. And, and and I'm not so much trying to rebuke you or put you down. I just want to be the one. I want to be, you know, me and the woman of God. We want to be the, one of the people that's teaching you sound doctrine. That's teaching you the word of God. Amen. Praise God. And not just that. We're telling you all you got to do is search the scriptures for yourself. Amen. I'm going to give you two scriptures right and then we'll keep going. Keep talking. But, you know, familiar scriptures, 2 Timothy 2 and 15. Let's write that down. 2 Timothy 2 and 15. Amen. And then uh, the other one's going to be uh, Ephesians 6 chapter, the 10th through the 18th. And so uh, basically you already know what them scriptures are talking about. Studies to show thyself approved unto God. Or work with that needed not being ashamed. Amen. What does that mean? Amen. Praise God. That means that you got to search the scriptures for yourself. You got to get in the word so you'll be able to fight the enemy when he comes. Amen. Praise God. Because you don't know the word, you'll get tricked, you'll get bamboozled. I don't care who you are. Amen. Praise God. You got pastors. Amen. That are falling short. Amen. Because why? 
they don't know the true word. They watch this. Let me tell you something. When you see people on stage singing so beautiful and preaching so awesome, and and I mean, and y'all go, I mean, we they do. We say, oh, oh my God, they are anointed. They are Holy Ghost filled. Oh my goodness, right? But that's not always true, because what does the Bible say? Amen. That the gift of of, of God come without the call of repentance. In other words, all your gifts and your talent, amen, that doesn't mean that you're saved. Amen. That doesn't mean that you're Holy Ghost filled. Amen. That means that you just, you're anointed. And some people will pass out from your singing because you got such a beautiful gift. Amen. And, or you can teach and preach. Amen. That's why me and the woman of God, we don't point to us. We point y'all to the word of God. We point y'all to God. Amen. Get in the word. Dig for yourself. Amen. And so what we're trying to say Amen. You got to get in the word for yourself. Amen. There's some things that are coming. And if you don't have it together, if you don't, if you're not diligently seeking the word of God, amen, you're going to be tricked. You're going to be scammed. There are so many things that are coming. Amen. And, 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 and as we share, we look at even now, they're trying to bring back the, the booster shots. They're trying to bring back more, you know, shots. You got to get your shot. You got to get this and that. Amen. I'm saying, where did, you know, uh, 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 where did COVID-19 go? Amen. Praise God. It's still here. Amen. Praise God. But we 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 are not. You know the people are just doing what they do now. Some people don't have masks. Some people wear masks. Whatever. Amen. Praise. Some people get the shot. Some people don't get the shot. Amen. Praise God. I always tell people, you know, you get the shot, pray. If you don't get the shot, pray. Amen. Praise God. So, but I don't I don't fuss at nobody for their decision making. Amen. If you vote Republican, that's okay. You pray. If you vote Democrat, that's okay. You pray. Amen. Praise God. But the thing is. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Oh my God, saints of God, I'm trying to get y'all to understand tonight. If you get in the word, I want y'all to get in the word. The Bible says, study, amen, get in the word. It says, meditate on the word, what? Day and night, right? If you don't know, amen, if you don't know the word, you're gonna walk around just, just walking, waiting for somebody to give you a word. You wait for Hollywood, you wait for the entertainment system, the social media, the news media. You wait for them to give you a word what's taking place. Amen. But when I'm telling you, they're gonna tell y'all, they're gonna tell y'all some things. Amen. Praise God. And it's gonna it's gonna mess you up. But at the same time, God let us know this is the year. This is amen. This is a a year where the doors are opening. Amen. Praise God. I share that with y'all. As we uh, uh, come from uh, Rosh Hashanah, and you know, uh, the, on the Hebrew calendar, we talk, I talked about that a little bit last week. We're on the Hebrew calendar. We, we're in a new year already. Started on the 15th. We're in a new year. Amen. Praise God. Now, the thing about this is different, you know, uh, the way we've uh, been going in January. I receive it because I feel like it's the Lord's day where it's going like God said, I'm with you. We're going into a new place. Because remember the children of Israel when they came out of Egypt. Amen. Praise God. On the other side, it was new. It was a new day. It was a new era. And God was moving on the people of, 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 of the children of Israel. And so we look at it as this is a new beginning. Now I said there's going to be some closed doors. There's going to be some closed doors. That's okay. Amen. And God's going to be the one that's closing those doors. Amen. Because he's going to bring us to a new place. Amen. New beginnings, y'all. New beginnings. You got to receive it. Now watch this. You just don't get an open door. Amen. It's not about a magic password. Amen. Praise God. But it's about humility. Amen. It's about you humbling yourself and getting in the word of God. Let's, let's, you know, even when you look at, um, let me look at this. When you look at back at, um, in the time of, of, um, of Noah, amen. And when the Bible talks about, we're in the same, it, it talks about how we are uh, the, the, uh, the same days as this, as the days of, of, of Noah, amen. As in the same days as of Noah. What is it saying? When we read Genesis, uh, uh, uh the sixth chapter, and it talked about the angels. It talked about how uh, a man had multiplied and sins had multiplied and evil and wickedness had multiplied so much, amen, that God had to repent because he made man. Amen, praise God. And stuff was so chaotic. Now, we're in, in, in the, when the word of God says we're in that same place, Do, Pastor Doc, get that scripture where it talks about the days of, we as, as the days of Noah. Amen, praise God. We're in that same time and doing some, some wicked and evil things. Amen. And remember what I said before. Uh, uh, God is holding us accountable too. Because why? He allows certain things because we are not doing what we're supposed to do, saints of God. Amen. 
We're not doing what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to be praying. We're supposed to be the one seeking the face of God. We're supposed to be the one on need, not the one that's begging for anything. Amen. Hallelujah. Wishing and hoping that we get out of this. I want to be a survivor. No. Amen. We, we're walking in victory. Amen. We are more than conquerors. Amen. Live or die. I tell y'all that. Amen. We're still victorious. Amen. We're walking. Amen. Uh, 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 how can I say it? We're walking in, uh, in victory. We're, we're not walking for the victory, but we're walking in victory already. Amen. Praise God. But this is the thing. And, and my, main, my main focus tonight, this is the key. And I want you all to get this. You're going to have to get in the word of God. You're going to have to study the word of God. You're going to have to open. Don't, you know, if, 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 if Pastor Gary gives you guys an assignment, you know, to read a, a certain thing this week, it shouldn't be where, you know, uh, you know, Pastor, you know, I, I didn't have time to get to that scripture or, you know, I, I, I you know, uh, 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 but I'm, I'm, I'm going to follow y'all tonight, you know. And, and the thing is, when I give the, the, the assignments, it should be where next uh, 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 Bible study or Sunday or whenever we talk again that you're saying, Pastor, uh, oh, wow, I, I was studying that word. And, you know, I had a question about this and, and about that. Amen. Praise God. And, you know, I read, read some research and I saw this. I saw that. And, you know, oh, my God, God. Because if there's if you're not getting in the word of God, how can you expect to hear and know his voice? Thanks to God. I'm just encouraging you tonight. Amen. Because, you know, whatever I share with you guys, amen, praise God, it, it comes home first to me too. Amen, praise God. I know I do a lot of stuff. I do a lot of things trying to fix things and trying to get stuff together, you know, for, for my family. Amen. For for, for my, uh, my office, for my studio room and so forth. Trying to put things together so when I do all the different things and put on internet, amen, praise God, there's so much that we do. Y'all remember on Saturday morning, we praying for the pastors. Amen. Why? Because they got a full load. Amen, praise God. And so when, when I give you assignment, you know, if you don't come back and challenge me, you know, I'm not saying on purpose, but asking me questions, you don't pull for me, but I'm still going to study. I'm, I'm still going to study. I'm still going to dive in the word. I'm still want to know. I, 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 I go, I give, go to bed with the word. I get up with the word. Amen. Praise God. And, and, and me and Pastor Di, she, her messages, I'll listen to them one or two or three times a day. And then I, even when I'm going to bed, I'll listen to them. Amen. Because I want the word. I want to know. Amen. Praise God. I want to be ready when the enemy comes. This is real, y'all. This is real. When you, when we read in Genesis the other week, last week, and they talked about those fallen angels, talked about they're the watchers because at the beginning, what were those angels supposed to have been doing? Watching over the people. Amen. Praise God. But they, their eyes got big and wide and they saw the women and they came down. And, and, and then it wasn't just with the women. It wasn't just with the women. Amen. Praise God. And so everything got chaotic. And, and watch this, saints of God. Me and Pastor Dad, we talked about this this afternoon. And we talked about this. There's three things. There's more than three. Y'all probably know them. But I know the three main three I know they're talking about is sex, um, power, and money. Those, those are three things. Sex, uh, power, and money that, that, the, that the enemy uses. Amen. Praise God. And he's perverting that thing. He's perverting it so much. Amen. Praise God. And watch this. This is why it's so important. Because if you're in a church, amen, praise God, I don't care if it's with us or whoever, and all of a sudden the pastor starts saying some things that just don't feel right or seem right, then you need to say, uh, uh pastor, I know I'm teaching Bible study y'all tonight, but you probably say I'm preaching, but I'm trying to encourage you to let you know that you're going to have to make a decision. You're going to either uh, be victorious or you're going to be defeated. That decision is up to you. Amen, praise God. So when the enemy comes, you know how to deal with the enemy, praise God, and know how to fight amen praise god with the word of god ephesians says what put on the whole armor of god that you may be able to what stand against the wiles of the devil amen praise god and so if you're not doing those things and one of the things that uh that 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 uh sticks out amen praise god and which is the um when they talk about uh the uh the armor amen praise god in the word of god hallelujah i'm trying to find the scripture i got it right here in front of me only therefore, I'm taking on the armor of God who's standing day, blah, blah, blah. Um, stand, stand therefore, fast with the belt of truth uh, around your waist, and put on the breastplate of righteousness as the shoes on your feet, and put on whatever make ready to proclaim the gospel of peace. And here we go. And with all these, take the shield of faith, which you will be uh, able to quench the uh, flaming arrows of the evil one. And that's going to take getting in the word of God. And then say, take on the, self, the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which was, uh, which is the word of God. So those, those two, amen, the shield of faith, amen, how can you have 
uh, uh, that shield to protect you if you don't know the word. Amen. Praise God. Faith coming by hearing and what? Hearing of the word. There's going to be a famine. There's going to be a famine. Amen. Praise God. There's going to be a famine. Amen. Praise God. And, and, and what's going to take place is going to be either with the food, right? And the word. Amen. What you saying, Pastor Gary? The word's going to be here. But it's the, the people are not, they're going to be rejecting the word and they're not going to want the word. And see, watch this. This is how the enemy is, is, is a trickster. Because he's not coming to you with straight paganism and all the satanic different worship, right? But he's going to come with you with a little religious stuff, amen. And where is it going to come through? It's going to come through the church, saints of God. Because why? They're going to make it religious where the church is going to say, oh, it's not bad. You know, we can receive this and we can have these things in the house of God. It's okay. You know, we're trying to win souls. We're trying to win the young people. And God, not equitable, shandabo, see you day. Saints of God, we cannot play with God. I'm, I've seen men and women of God that played with God and couldn't make it back. Now I'm talking about powerful men and women of God that went out there and, and, and started saying those things, amen, that it's okay to do this and perverting the gospel, amen, praise God. And then what's happening now, they're, they're, they're in a bad way. They're in a bad situation. And I pray for them, God, you know, save them, raise them up from that deathbed, raise them up, God. You know, but what I'm saying, the, these things are happening, amen, praise God. And when they happen, if you're not in the word, if you're not where you need to be in God, amen, it's going to get you too. And that's why you got to be in the place. It's time out for, for pity patty parties. It's time out for, you know, woe is me. Amen. Praise God. This is real. Amen. Praise God. The enemy is real. I don't I don't take it lightly. Amen. Like I said, when I get up in the morning, when I'm laying down at night, I'm praying. Amen. Praise God. If I have a dream, amen. Praise God. I'm saying, God, sh show me. Many of you, you having dreams. Amen. You go to bed at night, wake up, and you forget the dreams. That's the trick of the enemy to make you not remember what the Lord was saying to you when you was in your dream. It's bad enough you have to get up and try to figure, you know, oh, Lord. What were you saying, God? Because now you got to try to interpret this thing, amen. And what you may see may mean something else, amen. But the only way you're going to understand it, amen, is that you're going to have to get to that place where you're reading the Word of God. I guarantee you, when you read the Word of God, God's going to open your eyes. You Use your commentaries. Use your commentaries. And you know, it's so the thing about it, I, I, I think um, I shared with somebody the other day. And the enemy, huh? The enemy is going to make it look so real, y'all, that he's going to work miracles in the church, right? And and people are going to say, oh, that's God. That's a man of God. That's a woman of God. But don't y'all know that the enemy can do those, those, those things too? I remember remember the, the thing that Moses, when Moses went back down to Egypt, amen, praise God, he stood before Pharaoh and he threw the uh, the rod, just threw the snake down, amen, threw, threw his rod down in the and the, uh, the rod turned to a snake, amen. And then what did what did uh, Pharaoh do? He, it didn't bother him because he said, that's an old trick, you know, because I got I got people here. And then what they did, they, his magicians did what? Do they, they uh, rod down, of course, turn to snakes. And then, you know, Moses, you know, uh, the, the snake, it um, uh, uh, got, uh, 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 chewed them both up, amen. But what am I saying? They know, the, the, the enemy know how to do things too, y'all. Amen. Everything is here. Yeah, imitation. Amen. Praise God. And, and he's going to imitate everything that God does, has done. Amen. When we read the book of Genesis last week, amen, praise God. You know, we, we was in there and we were learning how those spirits, and even during the flood, even during the flood, what happened? Amen. When the flood came, everything was gone. Amen. All the men, right? And, and everything that was destroyed. And so what happened? You know, the, the things were, were, were uh, figure that oh everything is good everything is fine amen praise god but the spirits ah, the spirits were still here how do you know pastor gary how do you know that the spirits are still here because those things were still operating around look what happened to uh, 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 noah and, and, and with, with his boys and everything when when they went into his tent and we we don't know whether it was a sexual act or what it was but something happened amen praise god and it was led by what a spirit amen because remember noah was a righteous man Amen. Noah was a righteous man. And not just that, saints of God. Even as we get ready, even if, as we come down in history, amen. And, and that's why I say you got to read the word, y'all. Go back and forth. Go back and forth reading that word. And, and my, like I said, my goal tonight is to, to get you, you know, and I'm not, listen, saints of God. Um, if you've been studying already, step it up. Amen. Step it up. Stop, stop saying that, 
you know, I, 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 I got to make time to study. Now, this me, this is me. I, I want quality study. I want to sit down and have quality study. That's what I'm, I'm, I'm praying for. You know, God, I want to I want to have quality time with you. I want to be where I go in the office and go in my prayer room. Amen. Praise God. And I come out four or five or six hours later because I've been with the Lord and studying. Sometimes, amen, we, we get 15 minutes to God. Okay, Lord. And, and we don't even we don't even really get nothing out of the paragraph. If, if, if I, when I get my grandbaby assignments and stuff, and I tell him, give me the main theme out of the little two paragraphs that you just read, Amen. Who, what, what is the author saying? What is he talking about? What is, where is he at? You know, what, what's going on? And if, if you don't know, then you go back and you read it again. I'm not talking about her, but I'm just saying, if you don't know, you, you read it again. But if you say, I don't know what that was talking about, well, read it again, it, because what's so important? I tell my grandbaby. If you don't understand that one word that's in that sentence, that paragraph, you're going to miss it. It's the same thing with the word of God. You, you'll see a word or you'll see a, uh, you'll see a name of a, 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 a tribe or, 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 or even uh, uh, the Amakites or the, the, uh, the, Moabite, the, uh, the Moabites, whatever. And you're like, and you read it and you don't even think about it. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, now this is just a question. This is just a question, and I love my, my father, you know, and, and, uh, 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 he always, um, he, he very particular with the word, and he always says certain things, I'm like, man, dad, where'd you get that from, where, where's that at, right, and he, and, and he, and he just basically just study, he read, read, you know why people on your job excelling, oh, no, not all of y'all, but sometimes people on your job excelling, getting a better, getting a better position, getting this, you know what, some of them, they just read, you know, they pick up a book and they read about certain things in that job. You know, but we, we, what we do, we go to work, we just work. We, we ain't trying to do nothing next year. We just go to work and, 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 and do what they say do, and then we go home, right? But the thing is, thank you, I hope I'm encouraging somebody tonight. I really do. Um, come on, screen. There we go. Amen. And so we, 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 we just go to work, right? I found out I was that person, y'all. I was making good money, amen, praise God, but I wasn't getting those, that good position of promotion or certain things because my co counter partners, you know, I was going into work and I would get my stuff, my, my classroom set up and I teach and I would go to different, um, well, I wasn't going to different boards, but um, uh, I, I would go to class, teach and, and, and have my, you know, looking good, have my room looking good, uh, pray in my room if I went in there, you know, but the other guys were getting information that I wasn't getting and they was reading, studying, and going to different boards and stuff like that. And I was wondering why, you know, okay, why well, I don't get no extra money at the end of the year? Why well, I'm only getting $25, they're getting, you know, $1,000, you know? And so when I began to read, when I began to get the information, praise God, you know, all of a sudden I began to excel. Amen. I was on the other side, right? But we all do that and we go, we don't, some of us don't want to read, we just want to do the basic. You as a Christian don't, you're not just doing the basic, amen, but you, you, you are, a, how can you be a warrior armed and dangerous, amen, praise God, and you don't know, you don't even dangerous. You're not a threat. You got to be a threat to the enemy, praise God. You know, you got to be a threat. Yeah, I don't want them attacking my home and this, that, but if you're a threat, amen, praise God, but at the same time, that means that you got power. Amen. You got power that God has given. What do God? What did God say? That's what the woman of God preached today. She taught. What did God say? If God promised you something, He's gonna bring it to pass. Amen. But it comes with some a prescription. A, how can you follow a prescription if you don't read what you read the Bible? I don't know about you, but me and the woman of God, when we get medications and different things, if somebody gives to, we read it. If we go on the internet, we Google it and look at all the. Okay, what is this? Uh, and then all of a sudden, now, you know what to pray. Lord, I thank you right now, God. This this medication, God, I don't want to be on it long, God. I want to be off it, Lord, in the name of Jesus, God. Lord, it says that it does this, it does that, it does this, 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 and the other. Amen, God. But I'm thanking you, Lord, right now, God, that this medication is not going to harm me or hurt me, Lord, in the name of Jesus, God. Lord, it's going to just do what it's supposed to do. And, Lord, I'm not going to be on a medication, God. Show me some foods, God. Show me some other things that I can eat or drink, God, that will do the same thing but do it better without harming me. You got to know if you don't read saying to God I'm telling you we we say we're not ignorant of the devil devices but we we ignorant of not just reading I'm just encouraging I've just been talking talking pastor that jump in anytime amen praise God if you want to share something please give me a, give me a two minute a one minute talk through <laughs> amen. 
Amen. <laughs> oh my God, I just thank God. Uh, I already told Pastor earlier today, I was like, man, you know, just want to hear. Sometimes you do just want to hear, receive, and I thank God, you know, listening and hearing the Word of God. But one of the things that Pastor said, he said a lot of things, but uh, when he was talking about the enemy, the enemy is an imitator. He is an imitator. He's not an original. And I remember even when uh, Pastor Lance came and he shared with us concerning the battle of altars and even still to understand that one thing as a child of God, God has given us power. He's given us authority over the enemy. We have power, authority over the enemy. He's under our feet. But this is the thing. And even as Pastor was uh, speaking, what the enemy comes and what he tries to do, he comes with a lie. He comes with deception. And if he can deceive, and that's the only way, still again, and even when you look in the Word of God, various stories that we read in the Word of God, what the enemy does, he comes, look at Eve. He came with a lie. He came with a lie. He came with a half truth. It wasn't, you know, the truth. He came with a half truth, but it was still a lie. You know, if you eat from this tree, then God knows that you're going to, you know, you're going to be like him. They were already like him. But what we're saying is still the enemy, he comes with a, a lie. And the thing is that we have to stay on our post, on our guard, that we're able to even pray in the prayer that God not just give me the spirit of discernment, even as we heard this, not just giving me the spirit of discernment because discernment means I'm knowing right from wrong but give let me know the spirit uh, the spirit of uh, the spirit of discerning spirits to know what's operating behind when you're talking to somebody and you, you're being able to God give me that type of spirit to be able to discern what's what's uh, operating behind that per you know that person is that is that you or is this you know what spirit is that these are things that we can pray for but still again as we stated the devil he he's he's an imitator he's not an original everything he he comes and when he comes and still again y'all we got to know he's coming with a lot but this is the thing that when he comes he's going to try to to deceive us and even in deceiving the only way he can defeat you is first he deceive you first deceive deceive and bring in deception so still again that's our prayer that god make us aware make us aware amen and still remembering what did like we say what did god say we have to remember what did god say versus what we're hearing thank you god i see you pastor oh but when you look at um the weather right <laughs> how you prepare for the weather every year you prepare for the uh, winter you prepare for the spring, uh, the summer, and the fall. The uh, winter time, you know it's gonna be cold, so you prepare for the coldness. And and, 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 and the spring is nice, you get to see the flowers and all the different weddings. And But when the summer come, amen, praise God, we know that that's a time, amen, praise God, when, um, what's that, uh, winter, spring, winter, spring, summer, fall, yeah. Uh, when, 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 the, uh, when the summertime come, we know that's hurricane season, right? It's hurricane season, it's coming. Whether you like it or not, it's coming, amen. Now, we don't know about the snow. We don't get snow like that much here, amen. But some of you that are certain places, you know that the snowstorm is coming, and you got to prepare. You don't know how it's coming, what's coming, amen, praise God. And so the thing is, you have to prepare when you're in that season. I remember talking about um, uh, everybody got a diary or a journal, amen. Some people, but I think you all should write a journal. You all should be doing a journal, amen, man and woman, you know, because this, this is the reason why. Because when you write down and you see the season that you're writing your journal, your journal or your diary, you're seeing that, oh wow, I notice every year during this time, I get attacked. Every year at this certain time, I'm broke. Every year at this certain time, I'm sick. Now, now, now you're gonna know what to pray for. Amen. You're gonna you're gonna know, you're gonna know what to pray for because why? You see it happening, right? Because you're recognizing the season. But what happens, we don't recognize it. You know, and then we go to the doctor every year, same time, but we don't realize it. If you're writing your journal or your diary, you'll see, wow, for the last four years, every time doing this, I'm broke, right? What's happening? You know, either I'm spending too much money in December, all my money, and then all of a sudden, July and, and June come around the time where the sun is out, and you want to go enjoy the beach or go on vacation? You can't go because you spend all your money in in um in December. What am I saying, saints of God? You're gonna recognize the season 
that we're in spiritually spiritually amen i'm not talking about no you know uh, uh, so forth but you know election time is coming you know what they do you know what they do amen praise god but the bible already told us that all these things are going to come to pass wars and rumors of wars earthquakes and diver places we've been seeing all kinds of storms we've been seeing uh, hurricanes you know tsunamis you know and so forth amen and so we we got to understand that these things are coming but fear not amen you don't have to worry praise god god has got you i'm telling you i don't care what the doctors are saying amen praise god you got to know once again live or die i'm, I'm gonna serve god amen i i want to i want to i want to get to know god in such a way amen praise god when the enemy comes in amen i rebuke and bind and anything that the enemy might try to throw on me i can re i rebuke it amen yeah we get cold and we feel bad here and this and that we have pains in our body i get it amen praise god but my thing is you keep praying you keep fasting, God release this thing off me, whatever it is, you gotta begin to get in the word. But if you don't know the word, amen, praise God, you're gonna you're not gonna know what to pray. You're not gonna know what to say. Amen, praise God. But you gotta be a, a believer, amen, that got a purpose. I told you about a purpose. If you don't have no purpose, amen, you'll just be walking around wishing and, and, that you could be like this or be like that, amen, praise God, and wonder why you're never moving. The only way that you're gonna be able to move forward, amen, praise God, and have guidance, you're gonna have to get you have to dig in the word. You have to dig in the word. There are many things that are coming, and when I say coming, like you know, false, false prophets, false preachers, false teaching, a lot of, of fake stuff can come, amen, praise God. And if you don't recognize it, amen, you're gonna be swooped up, amen, with all the stuff. Amen. Praise God. But tonight, amen, I want to really encourage you, amen. Get in the word of God. Get in the word of God. Amen. No matter what the world is saying. Amen. Whose report shall you believe? I believe the report of the Lord. The woman of God. I got it in front of me now. I'm looking right at it. It says, what did God say? What did God say? And no matter what man is saying, what did God say? Amen. Praise God. People call him right, wrong, and wrong, right. But what did God say? Amen. Don't be caught in that place with the people outside the ark as, as in the days of Noah. Amen. Praise God. That's what's happening now. People are getting caught on the outside because why? They don't know the word. They don't know the word. Praise God. All you got to do is pick up your book and read it. Amen. Praise God. You want to be a strong uh, uh, a person, mature person, a, a, a strong believer. Get in God's word. Get in God's word. Listen, even as we get into the word of God, you know, we're breaking curses and casting out every generational spirit. That will try to come up against your finances amen we are redeemed from the curse of the law we break all generational curses of pride lust perversion rebellion witchcraft adultery per, uh, poverty rejection fear confusion addiction death and destruction in the mighty name of jesus these are things that we'll believe in god y'all continue to pray that this is not no hocus pocus amen praise god but you got to call that enemy out you got to call that devil out you know for what he's trying to do to you and your family amen praise god we're not our broke days are over amen praise god we're moving from a place of lack to more than enough amen praise god we are the head and not the tail we are above and not beneath amen praise god we are walking in victory father god i thank you right now in the name of Jesus God. Every every caller tonight that's on, Lord, I pray the favor of the Lord God. New doors open for them, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus God. They're going to humble themselves before you, God. They're going to get in your presence, God. They're going to seek your face, God, while you may be found, Lord. Now, by the authority of the name of Jesus Christ, I render every demon, every demonic spirit in attack against you, your family, your health, and your finances to be helpless, powerless, inoperative, ineffective. I decree that nothing, no weapon, no giant, no obstacle, no situation, no device shall prosper. It won't succeed or prevail against you, your finances, your health, and your family. In the mighty and master's name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 